Oh, sorry, y'all. My mic was muted. I'm sorry. Now, the reason why I'm saying like this, these white supremacists uh, label us a hate group. We're gonna uh, we're gonna play this video right here. Mm -hmm. State and local leaders are speaking out tonight after neo-Nazis marched through the short north carrying flags with swastikas on them. Video sent to our newsroom shows them wearing all black and masks and yelling racial slurs. Police tell us they started monitoring the area at about 1.15 this afternoon. Governor Mike DeWine's condemning the hate via X, writing, quote, there's no place in this state for hate, bigotry, anti-Semitism, or violence, and we must denounce it whenever we see it. And Columbus Mayor Ginther says, quote, the Columbus community stands squarely against hatred and bigotry. He went on to write, together we will reject the cowardly display reported in the short north earlier today, and we will continue to monitor the situation in partnership with the Columbus Division of Police to ensure the safety and security of our city. City Attorney Zach Klein also posting his thoughts on X, writing, quote, take your flags and the masks you hide behind and go home and never come back. Your hate isn't welcome in our city. Columbus police say there were no arrests made in connection to the march. It's not even funny, man. You got these white supremacist devils out there want to target us, but you got these dudes in this man of spirit space don't want to talk about how the uh, man of spirit, how the white supremacist dudes be targeting them. Like that don't make any sense. You that you got these white supremacist devils out there attacking people. Now I played the, the video, but see they they don't ever want to talk about this. These people in the white supremacist terrorist groups, but they they always want to make video, videos about stupid stuff. And we gotta deal with these white supremacist devils out there attacking black people. Like that don't make any sense. I mean, that don't make any sense. You got these people in, in the black community never gonna uh go after these white supremacists not, but you can go at the other black people real quick. Real quick, but yeah, I don't see none of you white supremacist devils ain't going up to these uh city areas that's gonna deal with y'all. Mm-mm. Like that don't make any sense. Like that don't make any sense. That's exactly why I said this before. These white supremacist devils do not like y'all asses. And to all you black people out there, Latinos and Asian people, these white supremacists and neo Nazis don't like y'all asses. They don't like your asses. I don't know how many times I tried to tell you something. It happened two days ago when these white supremacist neo Nazi people attacked other people.
Like, wow. And then you wonder why I said this before. Fuck this shit. He you won't you gon we gon' This is sad, bro. These white supremacist devils targeting us because of Donald Trump. And Donald Trump ain't doing nothing about it. He 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 encouraging them to do all this stuff. All this from two months ago. Uh, white Supreme, no, nah, yeah, we're gonna play two of these videos. It happened in Nashville, Tennessee, too. No matter what, what you do, racism is never gonna change. Here, it happened in Nashville, Tennessee. Hold on. Here we go. Here we go. It's the video I'll be talking about four months ago. We are seeing another round of hate groups protesting here in Middle Tennessee. Today, flags were flying over the interstate just hours after extremists were seen walking through downtown Nashville over the weekend. This is my Owen shows us the latest and what local leaders are doing to try and stop it from happening again. Monday, just before 6 p.m. off of I-65, new video of about a dozen people carrying flags with swastikas pointing as drivers rode by, smiling while wearing pro-white t-shirts. Seems likely that we're unfortunately creating some kind of mm -hmm. public image of Nashville as being potentially welcoming to these ideologies and folks like this. Less than 24 hours before, similar protesters saturated downtown Nashville. Neo-Nazis holding the same flags, wearing t-shirts reading White Against Replacement. Among the group, 29-year-old Ryan Scott McCain. According to Metro Police, he was reportedly seen hitting a 19-year-old in the face and ribs with a flagpole. We're looking at um, everything we can do to discourage, um, uh, you know, uh, groups that vocally claim the space of white supremacy from feeling like uh, this is a place where that is a welcome and encouraged thing. It is not in Nashville. Monday, marking the third incident this month. Back on July 6, 100 people believed to be part of the Patriot Front walked down Broadway. The group masked and holding flags, including a Confederate flag. According to the Anti-Defamation League, Tennessee saw 347 incidents involving hate in anti-government groups in 2023. Nashville is witnessing a trend in increased frequency of far right and white nationalist groups who are feeling, in my opinion, a bit too comfortable rallying and marching downtown. Today, State Representative Afton Bain launching the campaign Nashville Against Nazis, calling on people to condemn these demonstrations. It was important for me to respond in a way that my constituents tasked me with. I ran on fighting extremism and white supremacy at the legislature and in t Tennessee and Nashville, and that's exactly what I decided to do. And as part of her campaign, Bain is asking businesses to sign a pledge and for community members to purchase Nashville Against Nazis merchandise as a way to publicly display their stance <laughs> against hate and encourage others to follow suit. To learn more information about that pledge, head on over to WKRN.com. Thank you, Mike. <laughs> Hmm. 
See, that's not what I'm be talking about, but with y'all, these dudes in the manuscript don't want to talk about this. They're going to ignore this type of story, but they want to talk about new fake gacy podcast. Why are they not talking about these white supremacists targeting Latinos, Asians, Blacks, and Hispanics? This don't make any sense. Not one of these white supremacists did not talk about this. Did touch on this story. Hold on. But that but they want to talk about. But they want to talk about this. They want to talk about that certain topics. So you think you know Wix? Damn these fucking ads. Right. Here we go. State and local leaders are speaking out tonight after neo-Nazis marched through the short north carrying flags with swastikas on them. Video sent to our newsroom shows them wearing all black and masks and yelling racial slurs. Police tell us they started. Oh, this is the video I played. You know. Oh, okay, been monitoring mind. the area at about 1.15 this afternoon. Governor Mike DeWine's <laughs> condemning the hate via X, writing, quote, there's no place in this state for hate, bigotry, anti-Semitism, <laughs> or violence, and we must denounce it whenever we see it. And Columbus Mayor Ginther says, quote, the Columbus community stands squarely against hatred and bigotry. He went on to write, together we will reject the cowardly display reported in the short north earlier today and we will continue to monitor the situation in partnership with the columbus division of police to ensure the safety and security of our city city attorney zach klein also posting his thoughts on x writing quote take your flags and the masks you hide behind and go home and never come back your hate isn't well oh this is the video i play i'm sorry wrong one here we go this demonstration by neo-Nazis over the weekend in Columbus, Ohio. The armed group marched carrying flags with swastikas on them. Chief Justice Correspondent Pierre Thomas has the story. Good morning, Pierre. George, good morning. The hate was right out in the open. So brazen, Ohio's governor felt compelled to respond. This morning, new surveillance footage of an armed group of men carrying flags emblazoned with swastikas marching through the streets of Columbus, Ohio. The troubling incident happening Saturday afternoon. Each person dressed head to toe in all black, masks concealing their faces. They shouted vile and racist speech against Jews and people of color. Ohio's governor denouncing the neo-Nazis, writing, there is no place in this state for hate, bigotry, anti-Semitism, or violence. Hate crimes have been on the rise for the past several years, according to data from the FBI. The Anti-Defamation League also notes a stunning increase in acts of anti-Semitism with incidents doubling last year compared to 2022. Overnight, African-American community leaders in Columbus taking to the same streets in a peaceful counter-protest. Today, it sends a clear message uh, that this cannot happen uh, in our city, in this state, nor in this nation. Uh, we're not going to be uh, 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 repelled. We're not going to be moved back. Just a week ago in Michigan, another group carrying Nazi flags outside a theater production of The Diary of Anne Frank. We asked both President Biden and President-elect Trump about the Ohio incident. Biden responded denouncing the incident. We're waiting a response from Trump. Because there was no violence in Columbus and apparently no direct threat of violence, no arrests were made. The First Amendment allowed for all kinds of free speech, including speech dripping with hate. Robin? All right, Pierre, our thanks to you.
See, they spread hate. And then y'all get mad at me. I'm talking about the white supremacist trolls getting out mad at me. To my oh, you're you're you don't know what you're talking about. You that's cooning, you don't know what you're talking about or not. Man, shut the hell up. These white supremacists is labeled as a hate group. You know what they're doing, just spreading hate. And now they start calling us the N-word. And what these niggas do in the black community, they don't do shit. But target young Dolph. You got that stupid idiots. Keep coming on my damn channel. Like, that don't make any sense. Like, that don't make any sense. You got these simp-ass men out there. I mean, I'm sorry. You got these white supremacists. Oh, sorry, I was, I was mumbling about something. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, you got these dudes in the black community do not want to speak about this especially the females in the black community too they don't never speak about this they too busy in that man spirit group and the sisterhood hate group don't want to talk about this like wow now one of these man is produced never going to talk about 
never going to talk about this. You know why? Because they, they, those two groups still spreading hate speech. These dudes still talking about female nature, but they'll never talk about these white supremacist terrorist group attacking people, calling black people the N word, and spreading hate against Jews, Latinos, Asians, and blacks. I mean, they're not playing with y'all. That's why I try to tell black people, we got to wake up. This ain't no goddamn joke. Sadly, you got black people don't want to wake up. Now nah, they too busy and beef with each other instead of doing videos about these white supremacist neo-Nazis. Call you the N-word. Like, that don't make any sense. Because you got these dumbass niggas in the uh, black community, especially these old ass, hateful, miserable, white supremacist, old black men out there spreading hate against black people. I mean, spreading hate against on the internet. Also, they spread hate against younger black people too. But let's keep on going. You got these neo-Nazi white supremacist people out there attacking people. That don't, that don't make any sense. I don't know how many times I try to tell you dudes. We need to come together as a people in the black community. Because these neo-Nazis are not playing with y'all. But y'all too busy attacking me. But y'all never go after the white supremacist channels. Now nah, you want to go after a black man's channels, the flag. I'm talking about the ones who like the flag channels. I noticed these pro blacks don't attack these white supremacist channels. Nah, they'll go attack a black person's channel. Oh, yeah, you got some females, white supremacists out there too. They call you the N word too. And I, I heard stories about it. There's one incident of this white supremacist female called a black man the N-word. Sadly, you got these sellouts and coons who sell their shucking job for white supremacists, even though they still call you the N-word. So it's just what it is, man. You got these individuals calling you the N-word. Like, that don't make any sense. The other spreading hate against, spreading hate against other groups of people. And that's exactly why I said this before. These white supremacist terrorists are not playing. I remember still to that, that, to that incident. It's not even funny. Man, it, it was not a joke, man. It, it's not funny that these white supremacist devils out there attacking us as people and all that stuff. Okay, now we I'm gonna get off here anyway. So I just come on here to talk about this because you got these white supremacists. They need to be labeled as a hate group, but they never gonna do that. No, nah, and Donald Trump encouraging them to do all this stuff. Don't worry. As far as these black Trump supporters, they got their wake-up call. They wanted their vote. Now they want to start attacking them. Like, wow. So with that being said, I'm out. Peace. And I'll catch y'all next live stream and next video on Rumble. But right now, I'm not going to put this on Rumble. I mean, I'm not going to put this on YouTube because since I said the word Jews, I'm going to have to leave this up on Rumble. So, this all to say about this. So, tell me your thoughts about this video. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and comment. And I'm out. Peace. And I'll catch y'all next video, next live stream. All right. Oh, I got seven people watching me right now. Mm. 
this is why I said, you know what? I'm going to start streaming more on YouTube. I mean, on Rumble because I get a lot of views on here on, on Rumble. Then I'll go on YouTube. I get less views. So it's just what it is, man. I don't got like six people watching me. I know I got six people watching me right now. So, guys, tell me your thoughts about this video because this don't make any sense. You got these white supremacist devils atta attacking me, but you got black people too busy messing around, not helping other black people on black YouTube. Now nah, they want to say they're attacking new fake gays and podcasts. You got to worry about these neo-Nazis attacking other groups of people and you so this is how to say i'm out peace also tell me thoughts about this live stream i'm out